Hi folks, Tamar Kaminkowski here, and in this screencast we are going to be covering four Hebrew letters beginning from right to left, beginning with the Tet, then Yud, then Chaf, and Lamed. And I would just point out here, you can see that the Yud is smaller than most of the Hebrew consonants. It doesn't quite get to the line while the Lamed goes a bit above the line. All right, so let's get to the letters. The first letter in the screencast is a Tet. It makes a T sound, t -t, as in teleport. And there isn't much to say about this one, pretty straightforward. Uh, you see a Tet and just say T. Our next one is the letter Yud. It's often transliterated into English as Y-O-D. I prefer Y-U-D. And the Yud makes a Y sound, similar to an English Y, as in yawn. Not that you're bored or anything. Now, this letter, as I said before, is smaller than most. And it's also the first letter in the name of God. So in Jewish practice, when you see the four letter name of God in the Bible, which is Yud, He, Vav, He, instead of trying to pronounce that, um, the, the kind of mainstream uh, Jewish practice is to say something like Adonai instead of the actual pronouncing the actual name of God. All right, moving on. So here we've got our Kaf. And kaf makes a k, k k sound, as in kaput. This letter is only pronounced as k when it has the dagesh in it. So if you recall in the screencast about bet and vet, the consonant looks the same, and the pronunciation has to do with whether there is a dagesh, a dot, in the letter or not. So when there is a dagesh, it has a hard k, k sound. When we encounter this letter and it is uh, without the dagesh, it's called a chaf and it uh, is not pronounced like the ch English, which is usually ch, but rather uh, ch as in bach. Um, and this letter is only pronounced as ch when it has no dagesh in it. And basically, it sounds like the letter chet. Now, um, in kind of mainstream Ashkenazi, white European Judaism, the chet and, the, and this chaf are really pronounced the same. Um, when you move into... Uh, Jewish kind of Sephardic, Yemenite, um, uh, Jewish uh, speakers coming out of uh, kind of Arabic speaking cultures, they do distinguish between the chaf and the chet. And so, um, you know, if, if we're following Sephardi tradition, we would get a deeper chet for the chet and a lighter cha for the chaf. I can't represent those sounds very well, being a white European Ashkenazi Jew. And then we have the letter Lamed, as in linguistic. And again, this one's straightforward. You see this and you make an L sound, L. All right, now let's put these together. So beginning first with our tet, so we've got ta, te, ti. For our second line, we have ya, yi, ya. Our fourth line, mixing up the kaf and the chaf. So ke, ka, cha, che. And finally, the last line with lamed, le, li, La. And now let's put it all together. So the first line, va, 
lei ha ha va ya and the second line te i za la k and de <laughs>